If anyone does have any questions, just raise your hand and I will bring a lovely microphone that you can speak into. Those earrings are gonna get in the way. I know I'm in a politically very correct area of the country. If I use a particular word that rhymes with truck or any other word that rhymes with other words, I'm, re I'm really sorry. I get nervous. All right. So that's it. Thank you so much. Um, so the inspiration to this, it's going to be really Sarah, Sarah, not that I was an Asian, a very salon orientated uh, Gatsby. You just got that? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Couple more drinks in, you're going to be laughing first. That's a good thing. Um, so I'm going to take all these little clips out. So this is going to be a very Gatsby orientated look very simple. So we've taken a little headband section, okay, so from a low, low part, a little headband section, so I'm going to mold that into, hopefully, mold that into a finger wave, and in the back section of here, this whole, please move, who said headdress is coming? Um, I'm going to mold that back into a low pony, and I'm going to I'm going to show you how to do a ponytail when you've got nothing but session spray. Because obviously session spray, um, what is session spray? Did you see that? I just yeah. ripped that off. <laughs> what is session, what's the main thing of session spray? Resin. Resins, and not the stuff you, you know, not the noise. Mm -hmm. So it's a moldable resin. So I'm going to show you how to use the moldable resins in the hairspray to actually create a ponytail. Sound good? And you can also use a lighter. Barbecues are really good. Um, there's a lot of good stuff you can do. Okay, so I'm going to start with the front. Natalie. Yes, sir. You can, um, you know, fill the, fill the gaps. I have a lot of gaps to fill. Sure. That's good. We've also got a lot. We've got a mob out the back who's going to do a live. Um, body roll, yep. and she's going to move into the worm <laughs> on stage, and then she's going to move into a backflip high five. So I hope she's stretching. Yep. Hanging upside down. Good. Good. That is killing you, So we have an exciting show coming in October. Is everybody familiar with this? White box. Right. So we just did a... We just Don't did a confusing face box. No. It's a different show. Different shape. So White Box in October in Dallas, Texas. How many hands are who else going to be making that? Most, a lot of people already have tickets. Fantastic. Fantastic. Perfect. If you don't have a ticket and you're interested in White Box, please see one of your consultants or Laura <laughs> or Parker here and they will give you the information. Um, wow, you're really... Yeah. You sold that on. I know. Yeah. I'm, oh, well, I'm trying to open it up to you to talk about <laughs> it. Hello. So I've just, um, <laughs> did anyone, I mean, we've actually tried to hide a lot of the multimedia on uh, the White Box show in Stockholm, uh, mainly because you guys have got it coming this way in uh, October. So, you know, unlike what we normally do, you know, we haven't flooded the market too much as yet with a lot of imagery. Uh, to be honest, the White Box show we did in Stockholm is the biggest, baddest show we've ever done. Um, you know, we spent $65 on the whole projection system. Um, it, was, it, was amazing. It, was, it was amazing. It was amazing. Do you want me to give you my script first so you can read it live at the right time? So, I mean, it was just, it was such an amazing show. Uh, it's a brand new layout. It's a layout that we've never done before. It's over two days, not three, so it's it's jammed full of um, insight. The brand me that Kevin does, which is new to the company, uh, is amazing. It's it's just such a great insight into anything to do with a business. It's not you know the a uh, couple of the uh, little short movies that we play, which have to do with Chanel and how you know what made them the iconic business that it is. And, and so we really go through, well, I don't, Kevin does it. I'm busy drinking. 
No. Um, <laughs> so, you know, we really go through how to build a brand, how to build you as an individual, how to build you as a selling business, and, and all those aspects of what it is that we do. Um, you know, for me, I have a tiny brain. Um, let's not talk about that. Um, so for me, um, we always think about how to go global, but who makes money on a global market? None of us. So, I mean, probably don't that for this one, because he's in but I mean, you know, we, we spend a lot of time to think about how to market ourselves outside of the actual area that we're in, or outside of Texas, or our particular neighborhood, or whatever. But our biggest market is exactly where we are. So it's a, it's a really interesting way of viewing all the things that we do. Um, so I'm gonna try and figure out what I'm actually doing. I like, test, I like doing things and having no idea what I'm doing, because it makes it more fun. Does anyone else know what I'm doing? <laughs> so I was just wondering what you were doing. I was your back brushing. Carl, well, tell me a little bit about what you've prepped your hair with. Like you know, a lot of times, they'll ask us on the spot if you're creating certain looks. What are, what's your go-to items that you like to throw into the foundations? Uh, I don't like to tell people that though. Actually, I like to keep that a secret. Yeah. So you can all just guess. No. Um, so what we've done with this particular lovely little poppet is we've put knots in the hair, so it makes it really awkward and painful. So that's really important for clients. Put some good knots in there. Um, you know, it gives them a headache, which is good. Um, then you can just suck it into buying product. That's generally, generally the right. Um, so we've prepped all the hair with anti-gravity. I personally use, um, when I'm wanting really dry hold and lots of hold, I actually do, it's not in here, but um, I would do this much water about that much anti-gravity cream. So I actually spray that into the hair. I don't use um, the anti-gravity spray. So when I'm building a drier, bigger foundation in here, I prefer to start the hair off that way. Make sense? It's just, the, the, the hold, I mean, I don't have a gel up here, but if I was to hold the products up like that, and this was an anti-gravity gel, that's the process of the hold. So the gel on its own has got the most hold, yeah? 50% water, 50% gel would have the next amount of hold, yeah? Mm -hmm. And then the anti-gravity spray has the least amount of hold. So this is more like a setting spray. <laughs> so that's how it would be in hold factor. Strongest, medium, and then lightest. So I use this more as a setting spray and I also use it as a working spray. So if I'm wanting to work the hair, instead of using my uh, session spray when I'm working, brushing, I actually use my anti-gravity. So I, from a distance, spray that on and I can work the hair quite easily. Um, so it's just anti-gravity so far in this little pocket's hair. Isn't it a little pocket? So you know, Carl's techniques and the things that he's doing, like putting anti-gravity in the water bottle and things like that, it's typically on set, not normally in a salon. So he's having to work backstage in one location. These are things that he'll do as a session artist, but how you can roll this now back to the salon is think about your special events. Think about the type of things you do, you know, after hours or the wedding event, yeah. the different things you have going on. These are the techniques that you can take on the road for you, the same way he does. I always think about what I'm doing after hours. <laughs> and I always have a little 50-50, <laughs> generally vodka and soda. Okay. Why use the Stay Alive spray? Oh man, that's a question, Yeah. <laughs> I'm the This is the only model you guys are going to see. I'm not, very, I'm not very good at multi Working top, working top. I can't. Um, <laughs> so, who's that? <laughs> Does someone just melt plastic into your hair? I use uh, Staying Alive as, um, I mean, I would personally use, at this point, um, Shimmer Shine, but it's not released and I don't have any on it. But I would spray the Shimmer Shine in because that, the new, has anyone seen the new Shimmer Shine? I mean, coming out about a month or so. I would have been having this in coming yesterday. And then I would be, oh, it has to be wearing. Um, <laughs> So I use that to basically break down my shape again, so I can start to mold what I want, yeah? So I'm gonna just mold and go, 
Oh my god! And then tried really hard never to make that noise again, but it always comes out. So hopefully we'll get a chance to hear that noise in Texas because it's pretty cute and not always. Okay. Come on now, so let's be So I'm just going to hold that and show you. So that's just to kind of go, yeah, it's okay. So this is obviously a really fast cell to get. Okay. I'm just going to tuck that back. Good choice of earrings. Who's starting there? Who's starting there, Richard? Who's starting there? Who put the earrings on? Where are you? She might be wearing green. She's hiding. Why is it? Oh, did you put these earrings on? No, I didn't. I really did. <laughs> Fine, I'll take the blame for the earrings. I did it. <laughs> if this hairdo doesn't work, it is the earrings fault. <laughs> That's the trick to presenting on stage. Blame other people. Exactly. That's how I roll. Okay. So I'm just going to, whenever I do a ponytail, I believe I can do a pretty good ponytail. And the key to ponies are. Once your hair is smooth and pretty, and you both can't see, once it's smooth and pretty, keep your hand away from the head. If the hand's too close to the head, you're fighting with your hand to get the hair up. Once it's nice, what you do is just go closer to the head. That's it, you just feed the hair closer, and then you just go, boop, and just tie it. Tie that off. Um, too many people struggle with their hand in the way. The other thing that I do, is I always put a bungee in the hair and teach the hair that I want to do that, so if it's a really liquid, tight ponytail, I put that in, and then I drag all the hair back to where the ponytail is, and there's a whole bunch of loopy rubbish in that area. Cut it off, we'll take the bungee cord out, pull that through, retie. So you can do a liquid, tight ponytail in 10 minutes. Most people take about two hours. So it's, the key is to get it in, drag all the hair, so it's all loopy and horrible in there. And then take that out, clean it up, tie it back up again. Twice, I'll show, which I'll be showing you later. So, still you can take it back. No, you don't see it. So I'm just going to do this first and then I'm going to work on the front. This is the part where I don't know what I'm doing, but I get this. Where's my so I'm not going to use any elastic, just a hair dryer. That looks so good. <laughs> what do you mean you don't know, you don't know what I want? What? I thought we were in this. We were so much better this morning. Last night we were. Okay, so I'm just going to pull that little piece out. So we all know that with obviously recession spray, it's moldable resin. So we need to let it settle. You know, we don't have the propellants in the same way and the naughty chemicals in the same way other sprays have. The other thing that I've looked into, which I find interesting, is 90% of hairsprays cause emphysema. Why is that? Because the propellants go into your lungs and deteriorate your lung tissue. Ours does not. It sits in a multiple resin, which is why it's wet, which is why we get more distance. <laughs> I'm not going to die though, that's a good thing. So I just go in and I'm like, well, I'm like, you can't me. No, so that was like, like, my tongue is like, <laughs> um, so I feel like a bruise. So that's a really interesting thing. So, <laughs> you're a fancy man, I like that. Um, so, so once I'm ready, oh well, I'm ready for it. Ooh. Okay. So I'm just gonna spray that in. All the little reasons. So they can't play it. So they. Just keep that up, you guys. As long as you don't burn her. You just raise your hand if you're burning. <laughs> I 
questão do sal que a pessoa How easy is that? Like literally two seconds, it can be faster. And then a client, so water soluble, client jumps in the shower, ponytail comes out. Hello. Yeah, see. Yeah, see.